Alright, what's up YouTube? Uh, this is just a quick video on the uh, British Army PLCE uh, weapon, personal load carrying equipment uh, weapon, which is this. Um, start from left to right. I've got five couplers here. I've got double ammunition pouch, a waterproof pouch, a utility pouch, utility pouch, another double ammunition pouch. Um, it is uh, fastened by a bungee. Just going from that loop there in the water bottle pouch to that loop there in the utility pouch. And that just basically holds the three centre pouches a lot firmer than it usually would. The belt I'm using is a proper belt, uh, proper belt. Just, uh, with a male and a female clip. And I'm using the uh, DPM milk, um, which I picked up for about a fiver. Um, and on the yolk, I've got my first aid kit, which I'm not going to talk about too much uh, this uh, this video. Yeah. Uh, this kit weighs about four kilograms. Um, that's about the weight of probably about. Five liters of water. Um, so yeah, it's pretty heavy, but it's, it's meant to last you 24 hours. So okay, so in here, the left one is ideally meant for uh, for ammunition. These magazine these magazine pouches are made for the uh, SA80, the British rifle. So uh, the first one is empty, and then the second one I've just got a thick blue waterproof bag. This can be used for many different things, such as a uh, waterproofing kit, uh, picking up empty rounds after a blank fire exercise, or uh, just keeping it off the ground. And here I've got my, uh, some, I got I think it's four or six water, uh, water purification tablets. I've got four water, pur uh, water purification tablets. I've got my wash kit. Yeah. Um, uh, I've got my water bottle, which is the 58 pound water bottle. Yeah, that's a really good bottle, actually. Uh, and now I've got my basher. I can't just hit out because it's a real pain in the ass. Um, but a basher is just basically an information shelter. It's, uh, I've just got it in it. So I've got another one here. I can't just get out. Just uh, basically, it's like a tarp, pretty much. Like that. Stretches out about five meters, about five by six meters. Um, and yeah, I've got my mess in. Some fruit biscuits out of a rat pack. Uh, my big and small mess in. On a spork, I highly recommend getting one of these. They're excellent. It's like a knife a fork there. With a nice little spin. And in here I got three rations. I got the uh, here I got my pudding, Those fruit dumplings. Okay. Can't read that. There's fruit dumplings there. And now I got my cooked rice. Tastes like maggots. Feels like magic. And here I got my lamb, Navrium. It's just like a curry sort of thing, I think. Not quite sure. It's like a bit, oh, I think it's a stew actually. And then up here, I've got some cam cream, like the camouflage face paint, the few civvies, I might call it. And that. Um, Wet wipes, just some wet ones. And uh, a brew kit for your, like to make tea, coffee, and whatever. And I've got, you know, I've got one of those little torches you wind up. Like, never goes out. It's pretty good. I've got my about 15 metres of paracord. And a crepper, not one of those brush hats. 
like that. Um, that's pretty much all my contents. Um, the material that they're made out of is like really strong, and they use it for most of their uh, yeah the stuff that, uh, that they make with it. Such as over, I've got a respirator pouch, and both my Bergens. That there's my day sack, and that there's my bigger one, like fallen over. It's so old and dying. Um, but yeah, they're, they're all really good. Um, they're kind of waterproof. The pouches, they're a really thick material. They've got um, here on the top. Um, they've got a pouch. Like that. You can take back, and they've also got it up here. So when you close it, you can stick down, and it won't come come over. And it's easy. Uh, yeah, it's easy. But I've always got them up. So when you're on exercise or a recce, when you open your pouches, they don't make a fucking loud ripping noise. Um, I just want to show you how to put it back, how how to put the pouches together. Because what really annoys me, people tend to put them together. It's quite hard to put them on with one hand. Let's do that. Get a bit closer on that. I do that. And then, not that. You don't do that. And just do that. That's definitely not hard to do. A lot of people do that. Even some adults that I've seen do that. But um, what you want to do, you want to get the big bit, you got two bits like that, you want to get the big bit and put it to first, like that, and you get the small bit and put it in behind, and like push it through, oh, it should look like that, okay, so the big bit is right through the inside, and the small sections up his ass, that's how to do it, and uh, it looks a lot neater as well. Uh, the PLC webbing is fucking excellent, so yeah, I highly, highly recommend it. You can't get anything better. And I'm not just saying that because it's British. Um, it's, it's excellent. There's nothing better than it. Um, I don't know what I'll say, really. I think that's about it. Um, yeah, if there's any questions you want. Oh, there's a price as well. Uh, the price for the whole kit is about £5 for a pouch. That's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. About 25, about 30 for the yoke. About 20 for the belt. Uh, uh, better than me, my math is really shit. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 45, 50, 50, 60 quid. So about 60 quid really. Um, but if you the contents, it'll be about 120 quid. Um, because that bas the bachelor kit is a lot of money. Bachelor's about 30 quid. It's bit, well, they're usually pretty cheap, but the one that I've got the massive one, and it's fucking excellent. It's like the biggest one in our company. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, um, if you've got any questions, just send me a message. Probably will do a review on my other pouches over there. Well, not pouches, Bergens and respirator pouch. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go get back to my boots over there. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Um, I was gonna say, oh, hang on. this video uh, I made was for someone. I'm just seeing what their name is on YouTube. Uh, Fix by Doc. Um, I'll put his name in the description below. And yeah, uh, Srim, Thick by Doc. My name's Rifles2J, aka Jamie Williams. Yeah, um, see you guys later. Peace. Yeah, see you guys later.